Hello, my friend. This is Clyde. Jesus changed my life. Today, I want to tell you my story of how Jesus turned me around. I thank you for giving me this opportunity. Right now, you can call me new man because that's, that is who I am. I stand here to tell you my personal story. So let me go ahead. I have an ugly the past. I don't know what happened, but by the time I was an adult, I was demon possessed, meaning several demons were living inside of me. Not one, not two, but many demons came and they took up residence inside of me. They took over my life completely. Let me tell you about demons. They are evil spirits. Their mission is not to live inside of you peacefully. Their mission is to destroy you to, and to eventually kill you. There is no nice demon. They are evil, 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 which means that these spirits, they have to find a human body so that they can live in there. Well, after a while, I became known as Legion because of the hundreds and hundreds of demons that were living inside of me. Trust me, I'm not exaggerating. Let me explain what was happening to me. These demons, it's as if every one of them had a different assignment, but they were strong. And when I tell you strong, I mean powerfully strong. I could not live in my family house because these demons were violent and they made me do horrible things. Most days I could not keep on clothes because even if my family forced me to put on clothes, after a while, some of the demons would tell me to tear them off. If they called the police to come and restrain me, I would end up hurting the police and they had to leave. They got some strong men in the community to tie me up first with ropes and shortly after that, I just burst the ropes as if they were cords. So they tried using chains chains, real big chains, and the same thing happened. I can't tell you where the strength came from, but I would burst the chains and free myself. So for days, I would be running up and down the community naked, not even a stitch of clothes on my body. Parents would have to keep their children indoors because they were afraid of what I would do. I couldn't live in a house. I would wreck the house, tear up the furniture, damage the walls. My parents did not want me in their house. Nobody would rent me a house. So the only place I could live was in the cemetery. Man, I would sleep naked on the graves and then I would use sharp edged stones and just cut myself all over. And believe me, when the blood was flowing and the wounds was gaping wide, it felt good. The demons, they would laugh. I would, I, it, it was a terrible laugh, a blood curdling laugh. But these demons, that's what they had me doing. They tried everything. No medicine could cure me. No military power could contain me. I was in a very bad state. One day, I was running around naked, scaring people as usual, laughing the evil laugh. But I looked up and I saw some strangers coming off a boat. One, two, three. There were 12 of them, but there was an extra one who was leading. They were not from my town, Gadarenes, which was right next to the Sea of Galilee. I know the people who lived in the Gadarenes, and these were not from my era because instead of running away from me, the naked man, they were coming closer to me. And the closer they got, I started to get more agitated. I would curse and insult them and threaten them with violence. But one of them especially, I saw something inside of me that was scary. Oh, the demons inside of me were getting more and more violent as this man came closer and closer to me, hurling tons of profanity against him, screaming, throwing me in the air, dropping me on the ground. They were mad, really mad. Remember I told you that these men were strangers, but out of nowhere, a sound came out of me. Jesus, son of the most high God, what do you want with me? I beg you, don't torture me. But the man was calm and just kept coming towards me and the demons were screaming and shouting at him, begging him not to come any further. It was a violent reaction. Then the man spoke. What is your name? He said that to me. I heard him, but I didn't answer. 
I promise you, I didn't answer, but this is what came out of me in a blood-curdling voice. Legion, Legion, Legion. Please don't drive us away. Don't torment us. Go back into the boat and go back to Galilee. Leave us alone. All of that was coming out of my mouth, but my mouth was sealed shut. But this man, he was right in front of me and they begged him to have mercy on them. For the first time, I felt my body getting weaker and weaker. And this man, his name was Jesus. He raised his voice and he ordered the demons to get out of me. Not one, not two, Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. As, uh, and as they came out, they flung my body in the air. It's as if they com could not come out fast enough. They threw me on the ground. Out of every possible part of my body, they were coming out. My gut was churning. My eyes were rolling over. My head was throbbing. My limbs were twisted. And when the last one came out with a fight, he threw me on the ground as if I were dead. Meanwhile, when Jesus ordered them, to come out of me. He sent them down to a herd of pigs. And in that moment, those violent demons, they jumped into the pigs and the pigs ran down to the sea and drowned hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pigs. The people who were watching the pigs were frightened and they ran away into the town to tell people what happened. And when they heard, those people could not believe. So they came out in large numbers out to the seaside where I was in the cemetery. I was sitting on a stone. I had on clothes. And all they kept on saying was that how I looked changed. I was smiling. And for the first time, I was peaceful. In fact, at some point, I broke out singing, look what the Lord has done in a normal voice. My friend, it was surreal. But that day, all I can say is that Jesus set me free. I have never gone back to that life. You see me here today? This is who I have become. I cleaned up nicely and everybody is pleased to see me dressed like a decent man. The kids are no longer afraid of me. So you want to know what happened? When Jesus was leaving, I wanted to go with him and the 12 guys who came over on the boat. But Jesus, he came over to me and he placed his hand on my shoulder and he said to me in the most gentle voice, my friend, I want you to stay here in the gatherings. Go around this town and tell people what happened to you today. Tell them how I set you free. Since then, I'm a changed man and I cannot stop telling my story. What Jesus did for me, I can't keep quiet. I have to tell others that Jesus can do for them what he did for me. Just you ask him to come into your life and change you. He will do it. Today, I am happy, I am at peace, and I just want to let others know about Jesus, the miracle worker. Thank you, my friend, for listening.